This is Girl Jeff Free coming at you in another video about the one, the Ame Magilla Gorilla. <laughs> no, <I'm> just... <laughs> Sansa Ray Smith. She wish she um had somebody to give her an introduction like me. Anyway, she put out a video entitled Black Men Don't Listen Something. What does it say? Black men do not listen to logic of black women. <laughs> so, I had made a reference to the fact that, you know, she's always half nude and that's the only way she'll get a man to listen to her is by not wearing any clothes and so on and so forth. And hair weed down to her butt or something to that effect. So, she makes a video and she's, you know, clothed from the neck down. She's got long yellow sweater on. She's got her my natural hair, semi natural eyes, the most thick ass eyebrows, and of course her favorite filter. <laughs> and she's still trying to figure out why black men don't listen to her. So someone says, um, and then I love the way she has herself so cropped into this one little, you know, one little portion of her room. <laughs> Somebody says, <laughs> so she's still pretending that she isn't living in a hotel with the nail to the wall, hotel headboard, hotel carpet, and the hotel lamp and chair. She is such a lying nut job. And... <laughs> Obviously, if you look at the video and you pay attention, it's like small little details in the background that you can clearly see are items that will most likely belong in a hotel. So, someone um, also made mention of the fact that, if I could find it here, let's see, hold on. Okay, so, um, I didn't find exactly what I was looking for just yet, but she also has a video out that says, should men date women in the adult industry? <laughs> Somebody says the psycho is added again. And then this person says, most guys won't date or have relationships with women in the adult industry. I didn't even watch the video because I still, I need all the brain cells I have left. Um... So I'm not going to do that. Uh, someone else says, nope, but to her, if you don't want to, it's something wrong with you. Sex work generally isn't a respectable profession, even now. And for the most part, it's right. I know people are um, fighting for the right uh, that profession, but anyway. Um, okay, so this person says, I still don't understand why those women couldn't put their stimulus checks together to at least run a two-bedroom apartment apartment in Oakland. It is not only ridiculous to live in a hotel room, but extremely expensive. So I guess he's talking about, um, well, obviously, uh, Sansa Rae, Damon, and Miss Kathy. So um, this person says she's unable to maintain the place. Remember, she has seven evictions. She probably doesn't pay rent or maintain the place. Now, how the freaking freak fuck do you get seven evictions? Um, what? So this person asks, 
Did she say she got evicted seven times? And this person, Rusty Pop, says, Reese Pop, Sarsaray doesn't seem to understand that we know what hotel rooms look like. It is heartbreaking that she still has her baby living in a hotel room. It's all he knows. Okay, so that didn't have anything to do with the statement about the eviction. Okay, I've been on my own since I was, what, like 23, 24? And I'm 42, and I've never gotten evicted. And God, God, uh, praise God, praise God, I do not ever want to be in that position. I pray that I'm never in that position. I'm only mentioning this, dear Lord, because this lady, um, she acts like she is such the epitome of high class and you know how she act lord <laughs> so let's see i wanted to get to a part where <laughs> somebody says what kind of model is unaware of their body why is her head sitting directly on her chest and her and bold her shoulder <laughs> she needs to learn how to properly pose even with the filter and excessive photoshopping she still looks a mess you know what i cannot which uh oh they talk about the picture where she's sitting at the desk <laughs> oh my god this is too funny oh shit this person says, well, couldn't they get the place in Damo's name? They've literally been in hotels and shelters for over two years. They got that house and barely lasted six months. It's crazy. Um, so this person, Christiana, says, did she really say she was evicted seven times? And the person responded, I remember her admitting to two evictions. She made poor Damo discuss them. Oh, oh, so this person says, well, you know, Damo tried to rent a place and found out her credit was shot, too. The rat is using Damo's credit to get stuff. Remember, she's in a public housing program. When she got that house, her address was leaked on YouTube, and people started sending pizzas, plumbers, repairmen, and calling the landlord with complaints. She told them she's in fear for her life. So she's back on the housing wait list. You know, public housing takes a long time. Well, then that just, that means she's not paying for it, then I would imagine. But yo, wow. Wow. You know, I feel a little bit of ways about this. That she had to move because her address was leaked. I don't think that's fair. And, you know, I don't care for Sansa Ray. Um, but I can understand why she was scared for her family and stuff. Um, that's just sad. But I guess that's what happens when you act like you're a big shot. And people are calling your landlord in your $500,000 home. Um, so apparently the rat has been using Damo's credit to get stuff. This person says, God, I hate hearing about stuff like that. The mom is so reckless with their credit that she used the daughter's name. To make matters worse, she used the I'm your mom and you owe me card. Emotional and financial abuse. She did? Now the daughter has to go through hell to build her credit. She's certainly not going to call the fraud department. It would get her mom in hot water. Once again, it's emotional manipulation and abuse. And this woman has the unmitigated gall to talk about dusty dudes. Child. Wow, she messed up Damo's credit too. I shouldn't be surprised. It makes sense though. She would have Damo get a place. She would have Damo get a place in her name. Otherwise, Kathy must have super bad credit too. 
What did they do with that stimulus money? It seems all Ray did was buy <laughs> cheap wigs. <laughs> so Ray, Ray the rat. Since you so rich, why you can't move into a place? Why are you still depending on this housing program? Um, why, why, why? Your supporters want to know why. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely a supporter of this, this fuckery. <laughs> Who car she got? That's what I want to know. Um. So this person says, come on now, three generations of dysfunction. Remember, Kathy goes from hotel to hotel in family members' houses. Kathy credit, probably shot too. Remember, Dama, Dama, oh, Dama wanted to go to college, but got stuck working at a fast food joint and supporting Ray, Kathy, and Justice. Hmm. All right, too. This person says, Dominique should be able to go to college. The first two years of community college is free in California. All she needs is a part-time job and a roommate. Get out, Dominique. Your mother's trash and destroying your future. <laughs> he said, I know you read LSA too. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. That is if Dama graduated high school. Or she could always just go to the same online diploma mill as her mom, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, she can get her degrees from where Sasha got her degrees from. The Cracker Jack box. <laughs> Damo, did you really get your high school diploma? Where is the high school pictures? Did we ever see those? I know we saw prom picture, but we didn't see high school graduation pictures. Show us the high school graduation picture, Sasha Ray. We want them now or else. This person says... Why did thing why didn't things work out for her and Dominique's father? She always talks about how wonderful a man provider her friend he is. You know what? I'm gonna leave that alone. I don't wanna talk about him. Um Oh, so okay, I will say this though. They broke up when Sansa was pregnant. She's never had a long term relationship. I think Dre is a decent man who realized he impregnated a mentally ill woman. Oh, boy. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> oh, my God. So, let me see. Um, yeah, I'm not reading that. So, if he ain't got nothing to do with this. Uh... Okay, so a common trait in N NPD, what is, oh, narcissist, narcissistic disorder, is compulsive lying. Sometimes they will fabricate information that was once true to make the lie more believable to others. Sometimes they may even go so far as to convince themselves of their lies. lies. Other times they will lie about unbelievable and grandiose fantasies that cannot possibly be true. Since the narcissist often resides in the fantasy world to create the reality that is best needed to suit their image, they sometimes do not understand the line between fantasy and truth. Um, okay. So, I just want to say, sounds the right, um, You know, on top of all my travels, even though I actually don't have a passport, but I've been able to travel out of the country. Um, what did I want to say? Oh, Sansa Ray, have you ever been wine tasting? Um, because that would be a nice date. To go on, don't you think? If someone's gonna take you on a date, maybe you should go wine tasting and not the opera. <laughs> she said somebody wants to take her to the opera. <laughs> Wait a minute. 
<laughs> so I'm gonna just give you a couple of ideas for the rice go wine tasting. You can go um zip lining. I'm pretty sure I know they have that in California. I'm sure they, I know they have winery wineries and carrying on. Um but of course she won't show us those activities because you about that life, honey. You've got to go make your millions. <laughs> I ain't never seen nobody spend this much <laughs> making money and not go on one fucking vacation in my life. <laughs> Bitch, I done been <laughs> here, there, and everywhere on my <laughs> My last $25 an hour job. <laughs> Where have you gone? I've been to your hometown, bitch. Hometown. Just because it's only six hours away, but still. I've been all it up and through Michigan, bitch. <laughs> have you been in New York? You been in New York City? Why don't you come and check us out, sounds right. Come check out the city. Um... Get you a little ticket, girl. My daughter just came from Cali. What, last, um, shit. What, December? She took a picture by, um, in front of the, uh, what's the baby? Oh, wait, no, it was like last year. Um, whenever the hell it was, Kobe and his daughter. Picture of girl. So, um, but anyway, um, darling, dear, I just want to say, um, you getting real boring, girl, and you know I mean, well, you've been born, but you know what else I want to know, and that's why I asked the question, and I'm asking this to you, because I want to know, because you know you be listening to this shit, how, okay, I know Tommy destroyed you. A while back, but how to have these YouTubers, including black, no, matter of fact, I'm only talking about black ones that I've seen, that got way, I mean, hundreds of thousands of supporters, or, um, member, whatever you call it, and... You've been stuck at 43K for like the four, for like three years, four years? I find that very strange, considering that you bought half of those. But anyway, how did you not even, you ain't even surpassed 50K. And so you've never found the formula? I mean, any kind of formula? Because, I mean, the people that have got the hundreds of thousands, some of them, some, they ain't talking about no more shit than you talking about. Or, um, my boy Alexander Rogers. He definitely, um, he surpassed Joe ass. And I watched that shit happen. I'm like, yo. And yeah, he only talked about entertainment, but um, I don't know. You owe, and you know what? Somebody mentioned Shell. I think Shell mentioned that you were in support of the men initially, but you still weren't getting the viewership. So it's something about the way in which you branded or not branded. Yourself, Miss Yahora, Yahora, um, and then you try to make a fake couples video because you're so desperate at one time to be a couple to the point where now you're so desperate to be single that you just you so. You know, gung ho about living a single life. I'm living my best life. I ain't going back and fuck with you. And now you're so anti marriage and you're so 
um, anti, you know, um, I would say submit, but I'm saying submit because I can't think of another word. But, you know, compliant or um, um, feminine. Now you, you know, you just, you so anti man, anti relationship, anti everything. And you sound ridiculous. You have a son, you mediocre bitch. <laughs> you have a son. I could never. Now, I'm feeling a way about my son father right now. But I am going to give my son a certain amount of cash to spend on his father for Father's Day. Because in spite of my feelings, it's not about feelings. Because I don't have a lot of feelings left in general. But he pissed me off about something. But I'm keeping it to myself. Um, and I'm still going to have my son buy him a Father's Day gift. And drop it off. Um... Oh. <laughs> oh, let's see. And you know, um, I'm not as mature as I would like to be, but I am mature enough to say, hey, you know what? Um, I may not like you for whatever reason, but, you know, I'm going to take the high road, and that's what I'm going to do. Because at the end of the day, my son still needs his father, okay? Um, can't raise a man. Hopefully. And you know what's so funny? All the shit about she got this man and that man to be an example to little Jesse. And she won't put that on the video. But she put her old fat face on here every five minutes with them shorts. Short videos. Um. Oh, so somebody says... Uh, that's, I don't know what led up to this statement, but they said, that's why it's insane for any dude to entertain the idea of having sex with her. And this person responds, yeah, I would say it can even be dangerous. From her past, she gets attached quickly, then stalks when it goes wrong. Um... This person says, yep, this is a woman living in a hotel, using government support with no real education, no secure plan for long-term employment, using the hashtag wealth. This is why I find her so irritating. I hate this kind of flagrant dishonesty. <laughs> and she's sitting over in that little corner, <laughs> in that little cutout of a video to keep from showing the damn furniture. Bitch. Be loud and proud about that hotel furniture. The hell? Or just say, this is my temporary situation because X, Y, and Z. You share your damn everything except your damn vaginal canal. I mean, what shit? <laughs> you did get birth on here too, I guess. <laughs> this person says that's what exactly that's what drives me the most crazy she is a liar of epic proportions she's also, also a terrible mom the only life justin knows is hotel living 
Speaking of hotels, isn't it expensive to live in a hotel? Cousin South Red taking her and her mom stimulus. Blah, blah, blah. That's the same question. Let's see if somebody answered it. Oh, somebody said that's not a hotel. That's the headquarters of her social media management team. <laughs> um, so Jason Bing says, so she really gets dressed up to take pictures in a motel room. And then the response, she is so full of herself, she thinks we can't tell by the decor. It's a motel or hotel. It's giving me a fake IG influencer style photo shoot. Okay. And then Reese Pop says, Sansa is, is responding to someone named the Village Arson, and she immediately starts lying. She says she met Priest on POF in March and didn't have sex until June. 2017. However, she had her first pregnancy scare in May 2017. She's the biggest liar ever for no reason. Uh, you know, there's some videos on here. Damn it. I wanted to um uh, uh, uh. It's a, it's a couple of videos, hidden videos on here. This is a great comment because Miss Sophistication, sophisticated lady. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. She said. Functions at about a 12 year old's level. No wonder why they got together. <laughs> they made such a good couple. <laughs> In her mind, <laughs> what he said. Ain't that the truth? She sees men who are her level of maturity. <laughs> yeah, she'd be on here talking about you're not on my level. You're not on my level. You're not intellectual. But yeah, <laughs> but I guess Priest was. <laughs> I can't even see what she saw. That was so great of him. Even in the pictures that she posted, it was clear that he was a bum and not about anything. <laughs> First of all, okay, you can call him a bum, and that's fine. I'm not disagreeing or nothing, but he lived with his, well, shit. He lived with his wife, and apparently she kicked him out. So then he ended up staying with whoever, his grandmother, whoever. <laughs> Um, but I know one damn thing. If somebody told me <laughs> if I'm 35, 36 years old, somebody, some man told me that I'm dating that he made $400 a week, I'm going to say, I'm going to, as Kevin Samuel said, I'm going to bid you a good night. Um, I've never made a man making less than, uh, Oh, let me just say this. <clears throat> I um only date professional men, and I'm um I'm on a hiatus from dating. I guess I'm a um forever single lady. All oh, the single ladies, all oh, the single ladies. I don't know. Maybe I'll end up married at fifty. Who knows? But in the meantime. We ain't talking about me, but we talking about, um, but I am just trying to make a, a, a slight, um, what am I trying to say? Oh yeah, back to that, cause it's 3.30 in the morning, shit, I don't know what the hell's going on. Anyway, um, yeah, if you said you made $400 a week, I would say, um, I have a nice day. <laughs> oh, Jesus. My sister, some dude tried to talk to me one day, and my sister was like, um, you can't talk to her. <laughs> she said, because she only talked to dudes that got money. I mean, or, you know, just 
doing doing something or got something. Like for example, okay, I was um I'm trying to pause it. Oh, so I went into this store, clothing store one day, and I um met this guy. And okay, so I didn't know who the store owner was. So I go in, me and my girlfriend's going there, and I'm looking cute. So, now, so the guy goes, I can help you. I said, um, yes, I speak to the owner. <laughs> he was like, he was like, I am an owner. I said, oh, oh how you doing? <laughs> so anyway, we started talking. And, um... We dated for a little bit. You know, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't a big thing. Um, but I just... I think that it just, um, for me, it goes to show, like, I don't... <laughs> I don't do the... the uh, I'm not no gold digger, because he ain't really have a whole lot, but... Um, he owned a store, clothing store, sneaker store, whatever. But, um, and we went out a couple of times. It wasn't nothing to dig for shit. And plus, I'm so, I was, I got such a super independent attitude that it was just terrible. I couldn't be a gold digger if I wanted to. I'm like, nah, I got, I got my own money. Especially back then. I'm like, ah, I got my own. I got my own. So, of course, because I didn't know any better. But anyway, um, I still wouldn't mind, wouldn't mind being spoiled, taken care of. But anyway, um, so I said that to say I was going to tell the story separate. But this particular guy that owns the store, so we dated a little bit. And, um, he lived in the falls, Niagara Falls. So one day, I had went by the store, and okay, I'll tell this part first. So it was his his landlord for the store was there. Now this is how I learned this part. I'm like landlord. So that mean. <laughs> I mean, the landlord is the real boss. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the one who really got the money. So anyway, and he was Indian. So his wife was walking behind him. And I asked him, we was talking, and I'm like, well, what was that all about? He was like, that's their culture. For this, I don't, they were red dot Indians. And, you know, I don't think it's, that way for all Indians, but um, maybe this particular sector or whatever. Anyway, um, so at that point I learned and I told my daughter, I said, you know, just because you, I said, you want to be the owner of the building, you know, when you get at, um, it's not the same as having your own shop. Yes, yeah, she got her own shop now. Her and her best friend, they got a, they, um, what you call it, rehabilitating this place, this shop that they, they're renting out. But I made sure to let her know, like, don't get caught up in the fact that, you know, oh, I got me a shop, I got me a shop. No, you don't own the property. You're a tenant. So anyway. Now, that's a whole separate story. Now, um, that's one story. But the same guy, um, one day I went to the store and um, he was standing outside. And I was in his eyes. Now, he's really dark skinned. And his eyes were bloodshot red. And I was like, what the hell is wrong with you? I'm like, what's wrong? And he just was like shaking his head and smoking. I had a cigarette and shaking his head like, and I'm like, what's wrong? 
and was like my son. And I'm like, your son what? And he was like, my son killed the um taxi driver. And I was like, what? So I had seen it. Oh shit! I had seen it on the news, and then and the thing about it, his son was a young dude, a young kid, like eighteen, whatever. And his father' point was like, yo, he could have had anything he wanted. I had a sneaker store and a clothing store, you know, together at once. And he was just like, man, I don't fucking man. So, um, I'm watching the news. This little nigga, <laughs> he starts passing out on the judge. I said, oh, this nigga is gonna lose his damn mind. But anyway, we stopped talking. Um, not because of that or anything, just went our separate ways. So, sorry if I'm sounding like Barry White. Okay, but picking up where we left off, that was a sidebar. Sorry about that. I know I'm going to hate to listen to this because I'm so long-winded. Um, wait, it was a part I wanted to read. Shit, where'd it go? Okay, so this person says, Call me judgmental, but men who wear, whose wardrobe consists of baseball caps, t-shirts, and matching tennis shoes and wear sporty sport jerseys and colorful team wear might as well be bums in my eyes. She is into urban bums with no scent. No mature adult men who have brains and adult commitment. Oh, not mature adult men who have brains and adult commitments. Yeah, because um all that B boy shit, jerseys and and, and, and jeans and you know Many people, some say tennis shoes, we say sneakers. Uh, I mean, I just, uh-uh. it, I like a more casual type of looking dude, um, or dressy guy, dress guy. So, I don't know anything about this, but she's talking about all this, um, I don't date guys like that. <laughs> <laughs> and then she so this person says she I mean the same person says she likes tacky men who dress like twelve year old hoods and hang on the streets in low class settings. Men who don't use their legal names and like to aggressively argue with women and fight and threaten people, men who curse, get heavily drunk, always have free time to lay up and screw and no place that they are required to be. <laughs> what? Look at her track record. <laughs> Wait, who said Chris? Who put Chris Law in this? Okay, whoever Reese Pop is, I don't know, but <laughs> you didn't have to do Chris like that. What the fuck he got to do? Anyway, they said, look at her track record. Priest, Chris Law, for whatever reason. Daddy O. And they said, what the fuck is a Daddy O anyway? She was up low class, Tommy style. <laughs> Tommy's been on my ass for years and buy for his abusive attention. Oh, Lord. For as long as an ongoing Asante story is, it's not even a good story. And she can barely remember and recount it correctly. Who is she explaining herself to at this point? How do a few comments trigger this irrational response for visiting her past? Yo. <laughs> <laughs> you say one thing about something, and this, this bitch write a whole dissertation about the night she met Priest and how he knocked her up and left her in the <laughs> left her noble to die. <laughs> oh 
Even at the most fundamental core of being a content creator, she has become lazy by just repackaging everything she has already done into 100% car fox in her black screen, black screen audio. If the feedback pr proved that her content wasn't aesthetically visually pleasing to watch, why would she assume that it's solely audibly pleasing too? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Somebody said, oh, Reese said, here's advice about wealth from a woman that lives in a hotel. Oh, my God. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know if she's delusional or dishonest. They're both. I tend to go with mostly dishonest because she can look at her bank account and see that <laughs> she's not making six figures. Her fans are the ones who are delusional. <laughs> What? Um, she took what now? Uh, she knows she bit off a little more than she could chew. Apparently, she took out down some video. She says she's a beautiful, <laughs> wealthy single mother while living in an extended stay hotel in Holy Man. She says she's a beautiful, wealthy <laughs> What happened to? If being humble, <laughs> she needs a slice of humble pie. <laughs> Imagine if I went around saying I'm a beauty, beautiful, wealthy single mom. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Um. <laughs> oh Jesus! Somebody says. Now we should be making YouTube videos every day, making less than 200 a month. If she was making six figures, she wouldn't need to be on OnlyFans. OnlyFans are paying enough to make six figures, not for an unknown individual. Exactly. Because I already ran down the list of who's making the most money, and Sansa Ray is not at the top. She's not even at the middle. She's all the way at the bottom. Um... This is something she repeats often and goes from making six figures to I'm barely making six figures if she wants to be fake being a humble rich person. Now I'm making close to seven figures. Sounds like you're a pathetic liar. And again, not to mention, apparently, you know, I guess depending on what part of California you live in, I was reading a comment section where the person, somebody was saying that um, a million dollar home in most areas or some areas it is like a little three bed and I've seen this shit on um freaking HGTV million dollar homes in California like freaking I have a okay I have a three bedroom um ranch style home with a full basement okay um I haven't looked, I'm renting, by the way, I haven't looked at the price, um, but the houses in my area probably go for, probably, um, anywhere from 100 to 2k, and anywhere in between, and some might even be less than, but it's a beautiful neighborhood, it's a nice neighborhood, so, I said that to say, bitch, for a million dollars? What I'm living in is all you gonna get, girl. You better hurry move your ass somewhere. Somewhere else. Alright, y'all. I think this is it. Um, let's see. Mama used to say, take your time, young man. If anything, OnlyFans is only an advertisement for other services. This is why I don't like some YouTubers because they're pushing that narrative of all the money a person can get and how easy and safe it is. It just puts young women in danger. Okay. That's about that's not gonna stop nobody from doing that. Um so on that note, I am going to end this video. YouTuber Sansway committed suicide. Uh, Sansway live in her car at night, <laughs> losing her mind. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, y'all. It's been real. Please like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you for the next video. Peace.